Hi, I'm Ms. Mack. Early Genius is designed to find success for all students, no matter the learning style one has or an individual's strengths or weaknesses. We address the students who are right brain or left brain dominant, the auditory learner, the tactile learner, the visual learner, and the dyslexic learner. We do this with mnemonics, the art and science of memory. The human brain loves material presented on different colored backgrounds, so each of our videos will be presented with the top four choices. Black, blue, pale yellow, and gray. This video is being presented with a gray background. Hope you enjoy it. Hi, I'm Ms. Mack. This is another video using Tickle Spots, a touch math system that helps us make better math grades. Today we're going to look at numbers, shapes, and perimeters. We have the help of our Tickle friends, Zero Hero, Run Around One, Two Blue Blue Shoes, Baby 3B, Do More Four, High Flying Five, Six Six, Swinging Seven, Eight Skate, and Tiny Whiny Nine. The seven shapes that we will look at and measure are the rectangle, square, pentagon, trapezoid, the octagon, triangle, and parallelogram. Lots of fun, lots of learning. Most people do not use the word perimeter unless they are using math. It is quite simple. A perimeter is the outer edge of a shape. Let's take a look. First, we have a triangle, and the triangle has three sides or outer edges. The blue line marks the perimeter. Next, we have a rectangle with four sides or outer edges. The pink lines mark the perimeter of this shape. If we pretend that this is 6-6 six, six walking path, we could measure the perimeter to see how far he walked. Hopefully he makes it all the way around. The last figure, the octagon, has eight edges that we would have to add up to find our perimeter. The outline is in blue. That is its perimeter. Now let's take a look at all the different shapes on which we're going to measure the perimeter. Run around one wants us to learn about all the shapes, the ones that we're going to measure. Here are the shapes that have only four sides or outer edges which makes Do More 4 very happy. We're just going to learn their names today, but later we'll learn about their parts. The first shape is a square, all sides are equal. The second one is considered a rectangle, the pink one. The next one, the green one, with the slanted sides is a parallelogram. And the last one with the sides slanted inward is called a trapezoid. Here are more shapes. The first one is a pentagon. I Flying Five loves this one because it has five sides. The triangle has three sides, and Baby 3B <laughs> likes this one. The last one is an octagon, and Eight Skate is there. Join us that it has eight sides and reminds us that octagons are used for stop signs. Thank you, Eight Skate. Two Blue Blue Shoes is ready to help us add up the outer edges of all the shapes. How big is the perimeter? So let's find out. The first shape to measure is a triangle. We have one foot on each side of this triangle. Three sides, all equal. So if we want to use an advanced word, we can call this an equilateral triangle. So now let's find the perimeter, 1 plus 1 plus 1. This is very easy. Run around 1 has shown us how to do this. All we have to do is count up the tickle spots. 1, 2, 3. The answer is 3. Then we can do this with just the numbers, 1, 2, 3, and we put the answer 3. But with perimeters, you have to have a word with the number. 
Here we're going to use the word feet. So the perimeter of this triangle is three feet. Our next perimeter is the measurement of a square. Remember, a square has the same number on each side. In this case, it's two miles. So let's find that perimeter. Two plus two plus two plus two. Plus sign, draw a line, and two blue blue shoes is going to help us again find the answer. So we add up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tickle spots, so our answer is eight. Now remember, we have to have a word when we're measuring perimeters. The word here is miles. So our answer for this square is eight miles. The perimeter for the rectangle is a little bit different because we're going to use two sets of numbers, eight feet for the top and eight feet for the bottom, but five for this side and five for that side. So we have different numbers to add up for this perimeter. It may be a little bit more difficult, but we can do it. So we have eight skate, eight skate, half line five, half line five to help. But this time we're going to start with the numbers first with our tickle spots. We're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. I got 26. Is that what you got? Well, thank you guys. We're going to put 26 underneath you and we remember that to measure a perimeter, we have to have a word. And the word here is feet. So the perimeter of this rectangle is 26 feet. Measuring the perimeter of a parallelogram is very much like the rectangle that we just measured. Opposite sides are the same length here. We have six inches on the top and the bottom and three inches on the sides. So we're going to put our numbers together, six, six, three, three, put a plus sign, draw a line. But we have the help of six, six, two times and baby three B two times. And we're going to add up all the tickle spots. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. The number I have is 18. So 18 is the number, and we remember that we have to put a word, and a word this time is inches. So the perimeter of this parallelogram is 18 inches. Finding the perimeter of a trapezoid is a little bit different because we have different numbers at different places. Like here we have three feet on the top, four feet on each side, but we have six feet on the bottom. So we need the help of baby 3B, then do more four two times, and then six six at the bottom. We put a plus sign and we draw our line, but this time we're going to take our numbers without the characters and do the tickling. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So our number answer is 17 and we can put that underneath our characters. But with the perimeter, we need a word and the word we need here is feet. So the perimeter of this trapezoid is 17 feet. The sides of this pentagon are interesting because each side has the same number, four yards. When a pentagon or any shape has the same number, it is considered a regular shape. So we're going to find the perimeter of this pentagon by putting four, do more four, plus do more four. Oh, she's going to do flips for us every time. We have five shapes and we have five do more fours. We're going to draw the line. But this time we're going to do the tickling on the numbers themselves. So we put four down there five times and here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 
20 is the number. So we put 20 under our figure, so do more four. But again, we have to have a word, and the word this time is yards. So we put yards there. So the perimeter of this pentagon, a regular pentagon, is 20 yards. The perimeter of the octagon is very much like the perimeter of the pentagon because each side is the same number. Here we have 10 inches on each of the eight sides. So we're going to add up 10 eight times. This time we're going to use run around one and zero hero to make the number 10. Oh, here comes run around one. And we're going to make the number 10 because zero hero is in the ones row and run around one is in the tens row. So we're going to take the number 10 and put it down eight times. Once we do that, it's easy because the ones row have nothing but zeros in them, so zero is our answer there, no tickle spots. The tens row is easy to count up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So our answer is 80. So for this octagon, the number we use is 80, but we have to have that word, remember? And the word here, our description here, is inches. So the perimeter of this octagon is 80 inches. And we should remember that octagons are used for stop signs. Oh boy, click review. I love click review. This is when we have to name the shape or the answer appears on the screen. Who's gonna help us? Zero hero, run around one, two blue blue shoes, baby freebie, two more four, high flying five, six six, Swinging seven, eight skate, and tiny whiny nine. Sounds good to me. So let's get started. You ready? Here we go. Square. Rectangle. Trapezoid. Pentagon. Triangle. Parallelogram, octagon, it's also a stop sign, square, rectangle, parallelogram, trapezoid, octagon, stop sign, triangle, Pentagon. We did a great job. Bigger numbers can be a little scary, but if we use tickle spots, we can still get the correct answer. And our friends are ready to help us. They're getting bigger also. Here we go. We need to find the perimeter of a triangle. So let's take a look at that triangle going to wink at us, but we need to know the numbers on your sides, Mr. Triangle. 3,231 feet. That's a long distance. Oh, another 3,231 feet. Same number, but on the bottom we have 4,135 feet. Oh, I remember. This is called an isosceles triangle where two sides are the same length. Well, we can still find the perimeter. When we use our tickle spots, let's do it. Here we go. 3,231 plus 3,231 plus 4,135. Put a plus sign and draw a line. Now we're going to start on the ones row first and just count up the tickle spots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven goes in the row under the ones. Now we'll do the tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Number nine goes at the bottom of the tens row. Now we have the hundreds. One, two, three, four, five. And five goes below there. The last one is the thousands. Well, we can do this. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten goes at the bottom of the thousands row. So our answer is ten thousand five hundred and ninety-seven. Oh yes, cannot forget to put a word with our number to make it accurate. We add the word feet. Great job. Here is Swinging Seven with some reminders. She wants us to practice our tickle spots every day. We should see them, or look at them, say them, write them down, and then share them. That way, we will always get the correct answer even if we forget a math fact. Our next video will be using tickle spots for our counting with subtraction. This will be a lot of fun because we will quickly get the correct answer. We also have videos that show you how to memorize math facts quicker and easier using silly stories. Who taught Tina Ten are in these stories with two blue blue shoes, baby freebie, two more four, and high flying five. I can't wait to see Two Tall Tina Ten use her rope. Before you go, try this riddle out on a friend or a parent. Maybe you will get a giggle or two. Question. If two's a company and three's a crowd, what are four and five? Let's think about that. If two's a company and three's a crowd, what are four and five? Hmm. Here comes the answer. Nine. Well, that should get a giggle or two. <laughs> this is Miss Mac. Have a great day. Don't forget to say please and thank you, and never, never, never stop learning.